Good day and welcome to our video and conversations, a feature geared towards increasing collaboration and reducing those ad hoc discussions on project items. Let's have a look. Conversations is the pane that appears on the right hand side of any entity item within PPO. Your PPO administrators can configure which entity items allow for conversations via the system configuration page. But to demonstrate or show you examples, here is a conversation that has been happening on a risk within PPO. You're allowed to start a conversation on a governance requirement. For example, maybe this business case is not required for this project and you want to discuss that with your team members. Or on a demand, you're busy prioritizing that demand um, and you need some assistance with regards to the operational impacts. You can start a conversation for that assistance. My last example here is a approval record. This is a time entry approval record, but the same can be done for a gate approval record or for a document approval record or even a scope change approval record. Any approval record can have conversations attached to it. So let's go back to our example. To start a conversation, one simply clicks on New Conversation. Because Conversations is not a formal mechanism of conversing, we are not required to enter a subject. But for completeness sake, I'm going to enter a subject, and I'm going to copy and paste a response here. Now that we've pasted our response, I'm going to click on Submit. On submitting, Barry Linux has now started a conversation with who you might ask. Well, that's simply the employees listed on the issue. So Barry Lineker being the contact person and Tracy Maria being the issue owner. So let's go to Tracy's side. Tracy would have received a notification via the feed widget in the top right hand corner. Now the feed widget shows all your notifications which can be dismissed using the button icon one by one. Or if you want to dismiss all of them, you can dismiss all by using the Dismiss All action at the top. You can drill through into the notification, which takes you through to the conversation that Barry has just started. In addition, Tracy can reply to that conversation. So I'm going to copy and paste the response here. Now we've pasted our response. And the one last thing that Tracy wants to do is attach a document. She doesn't have to attach the document to the issue. She can actually attach it to the conversation using the attach file icon at the bottom right hand corner. She then browses for the file and opens it. She can also drag and drop the file into the conversation. And you'll note we display the file name and a status either done, uploading or failed. When clicking on submit, the same has now happened on Barry's side. He's gotten a notification that an update has been made to the conversation and he can view that reply. In addition to reviewing the reply or downloading the document, Barry can react to that reply. So let's use a heart emoji. To further extend this conversation, Barry wants to include Manny. So that's a simple case of starting up a new reply, at posting Manny. So we're including them in the conversation, and I'm going to quickly copy and paste a response. We've pasted our response in, and I'm going to click Submit. Oops, I actually made a mistake. I wanted to attach a screenshot. That's not a problem. I can go and click on the Edit icon, and I can go and insert a screenshot via that add image icon in the bottom right hand corner. Again, browse to the image and open, or you can drag and drop the image in. If I click on save, we've now uploaded or attached the image to this conversation. When the user clicks on the image, it gets blown up on screen or zoomed in so that you can look at the details. Now the last couple of things that I just wanted to show you was you can also add emojis into a conversation. So if we go into the edit mode again, and I use the shortcut in Windows, which is the Windows key and a full stop. 
it brings up this emoji window that allows me to add an emoji to the conversation. For Mac users, it would be Control Shift Space, sorry, Control Command Space. And there we can add an emoji and save our response. The last two things I want to show you is one can use the search functionality to search for a phrase within the conversation and you can delete your replies or your conversations. So you'll note we can't delete Tracy's reply to the conversation, only she can. But as Barry Lineker who started the conversation, I can delete the entire conversation. It will ask you if you're sure and you can click OK. That's all we have for you today and I hope to see you in the next one.